Good morning, it's a new day, same hat. Battery's flashing, I don't have another battery. I hate using my phone because I can't see myself, so if I'm blurry, I'm gonna be ticked. I'm on my way to pick up my Aunt Linda for a family reunion, and normally I don't have to explain anything, you know, explain where we're going, what we're doing beforehand because I tell you when we're there. Now let me tell you why I can't do that <clears throat> at this family reunion because no one there, all everyone there, they're not vloggers. They don't understand the world. And let me explain to you what I mean. When I'm around my parents and my siblings, we all know that we are catering our conversation. Like if me and my mom are having a conversation and I'm hugging her goodbye, you know, okay, I love you, goodbye, and I hug her. That, that interaction is more about catering to you guys than it is about me expressing that I love you and that I'm gonna miss you to my mom. Like it's not very personal. And so when we're done with that interaction and we both have an understanding of that so no one's feelings are hurt and no one feels like, oh, I don't really feel like they were like connecting to me. And that's really important to me. Like. I, I can sit in a room with someone, have a very deep connection with them and not say a word at all, or I can have a huge conversation back and forth with someone and not have a teeny bit of connection. Like, I'm all about that, you know what I mean? And so after this interaction on camera, we turn the camera off, we don't even have to say a thing. I like kiss my mom, look her in the eyes, I love you, thank you. Like. Thank you for making that clip with me. And we all are under this like unspoken thing. And that's how it always is. Like it always is like, and it's not that it's fake on camera. It's because we all know we want to capture this not only for ourselves, but for our audience. And so it's a, it's positive all the way around. Now, when you're around someone else that doesn't understand that, they're gonna feel that like, oh, like I don't have that like connection with you. And so I just wanted to explain that I'm going to a family reunion on my dad's side because Aunt Linda is my dad's sister, his oldest sister. And so all of her aunts and uncles are gonna be there and um, cousins. And I just wanna show you the interaction. So I won't be able to like, tell you what's going on because I want to be present for the people that are there and for Aunt Linda. So, and plus I thought this was a good excuse to kind of give you a little insight um, as to like how the vlogging works within my family. And so it is a complete different dynamic when I'm, you know, like with my side of the family because we all vlog together. We all know, um, but like on Joel's side of the family, they don't want my camera in their face. Like they enjoy being in the videos, but not, but it's not the same because they're not filming. We're not filming. It's more, I don't want to say me intruding on their space, but like a little bit. And because they're all really good and respectful and like my vlogs, they all watch them. So, hey, Helene family. <laughs> um, but I do want to be a little careful on that side. So just a little insight to you guys on how the whole vlogging works. So I'm going to go pick up Aunt Linda and I'll give you little snippets of the rest of our day. Aunt Linda, you are in for a treat. This is tuna fish, but instead of using mayo, I used avocado. I put in bell peppers, chopped up uh, pickles, but there are homemade pickles and they're incredible. They're in the Griffiths cookbook. Um, and I put like a teeny bit of mayo and mustard, just like, just like a little bit for a little extra creaminess. I think that looks fantastic. Aunt Linda is in the front. We got her all situated. Hi, How are you? Okay. Okay. I got money. I got some two donut boxes. Two yep. donut boxes? Yep, so she, told me she was bringing donuts mm -hmm. and we need to go get those donuts. <laughs> oh, oh, we gotta go pick them up. Okay. <laughs> and she, and how many boxes did you want? Two. Two, Two boxes? Yep. Oh, oh yep. Okay. Hey, and gotta, she has money. We gotta close the garage. You push that big button? Nah. Push it. Whoa, there we go. <laughs> did you show Joel your nails? Mark, sorry. Oh, yeah, they look right, good. That's pretty. <laughs> Did you do them? Not my boss. Your boss? 
Wow. I wish my <laughs> boss would take care of me. You hurt yeah, your it was that hard was getting in here. Thing. Okay, we'll 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 get you in and out softer, okay? We're gonna <laughs> oh, we're gonna yeah. figure something out, even if we've gotta borrow a car <clears throat> next time. A mm -hmm. shorter car. Did you like the drive up? <laughs> I did. Yeah? Did you <laughs> I go sure the did. Canyon? <laughs> she said I was a good driver. <laughs> she said, Wow, you're a good driver. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I said, Thank you. I you said a prayer. Drive? No, I oh, yeah. Okay. Watch this, Mom. Got to Okay, that literally made me laugh out loud. Where I was driving, and I was telling her how I said a prayer that we'd drive really safe, and that we'd be, you know, watched over on the roads. And then um, she put her hands in her leg braces, and it <laughs> caught me off guard so much. I started laughing. She started laughing, and then just like the familiar familiarity of her smile it looked just like my dad's Aww. and then I started crying <laughs> and she said I'm sorry I like you I said I like you too that's your dog did you bring her yeah well the only reason we brought her is because Aunt Linda insisted that we brought that we bring her you're pretty lucky I know yeah can I get two dozen assorted donuts Boxes, okay, two boxes of assorted donuts. She rolled the window yeah, down and the whole family yeah. cheered for her. It was quite the success. <laughs> Did you guys have fun? I know you were worried because you might not know very many people. But I'll tell you what, they liked seeing you. And the talk of the party was uh, grandma and grandpa being on their... Do we have the dog? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, where is she? In back. Right here. Oh. Well, good thing you reminded me. I almost forgot her. Um, the whole talk of everyone was if my parents were on their mission and that was just the really fun topic to talk about. And it's kind of fun because, you know, everyone's like, now who are you? I'm like, Chad and Jennifer's daughter. They're like, oh, Chad's daughter. And somehow that makes me feel special. And it definitely makes Aunt Linda feel special. Everybody knows her, right? Yep. She's t this, was a, this was a big outing, so she's kind of tired. Joel, thank you for being a good chauffeur to us. I will end it with what made Bonnie cry today because you know, there's something that always makes me cry. It was when I, all of my grandpa's siblings got together um, and it's funny, I don't know them too terribly well, but you know the look. It's like I saw all their faces, they were all sitting together and my grandpa, my dad's dad, he was the first one to pass away out of their family and they was it feels like quite a while ago um, and so in my mind I just assumed that they're all gone but they're not they're all still around and seeing them I told them and of course I just bawled and I said well I miss my grandpa and being next to you makes me feel like I'm close to him which was a really neat experience and it just felt good to be around family so thank you guys for watching this vlog and we will see you all in our next video bye guys